Hello, day 27. Oh my goodness, uh, we're getting through them now. Uh, I was just doing a little test on some of the colours I've got because I would like to do something with some red in it today and I hadn't used this one yet. So I just wanted to see how the colours compare. This is more of an um, old mauve, um, so uh, quite a bit darker. I can tell that this one is a cheaper paint um, just by the way I had to do a few coats to get it to look a good color so um, probably going to use these two today uh, I'll go through the colors with you okay so I've got some leftover colors um, that I want to use up I've gone with the um, the reds this one let's go through the colors so we've got uh, Naphthol Crimson, Old Mauve, Metallic Fuchsia, which is more of a pink. And we've got the Fluorescent Orange. This is a mix, I think, of a couple of colours. Um, it might be a mix of these two, actually. Um, and then this one's the Chilling Purple. This is the Deep Violet, the Liquitex. Titanium White by Montmart, Iridescent White by Liquitex. This is the Cadmium Yellow by Liquitex. So we've got some, some good paints in here. Now the goal, I'm going to do a flip cup and I'd like to see some cells. These two here are the ones that I used with the garage door uh, lubricant in it. I'm not going to add any more. I think it's probably floated back to the top. So I'm not going to, I'm going to give it a very small stir, not much at all. Um, the yellow, I definitely want to top up um, and I'm going to use Floetrol in that one to help with the cell activation. My swipe mix has got Floetrol in it as well. So yeah, fingers crossed, we're going to get some cell action happening. Because uh, I haven't really had a huge amount of success with cells. I've had little cells here and there, but I want to see some action. So let's get started. Okay, so I did something silly. And uh, I decided I wanted a bit more red. So I added some red paint and then realised I wasn't going to stir this. But I had to, so I've let that sit for a little bit. Um, but I haven't, I haven't stirred this one. Now my main colours I want to use are the red and the yellow, and uh, followed by the dark orb mauve and the fluorescent orange. Um, and get some white in there. So I put Floetrol into the yellow. Let's start with the yellow. Now someone said to me that uh, Floetrol and silicon don't mix, but this garage door lubricant doesn't actually have any silicon in it. So it's a nice white mix. Um, curious to see how that goes. And my red. Let's follow that up with some orange. Some iridescent white. Let's try. This has got the garage door and I haven't stirred this one. So I've just put two of the garage door ones together. Um, let's go for the deep colour. And the metallic fuchsia. The rest of orange. White. Yellow. Mm, might separate that ok 
Okay, that's that one used up. It's a bit thick, that one. Darker purple. It's also a bit thick. Oh, and let's use this one. Really dark purple. Some red. Got a few dark bits going through here. I think we might need some light. Yellow. Red. I don't think I've used enough red. Yellow. Iridescent white. Okay. So I've got my cup here. Um I would like to fill it a bit more, but I don't want more purple. Um, so we're going to stick with that. Um, and I'm going to lay down a bit of white around the outside. Now, someone was um, adding something to their cup and I think that was like a, a silicon or I could use the garage door lubricant to coat my cup first to help the paint release shouldn't have should have done that didn't think about it but it sounds like a good idea just let that sit for a bit hopefully we can see it release I'm hoping we get some nice defined Colors, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. I don't really like the wishy-washy look. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Still got plenty of paint left though. I hope you're in, all enjoying this 30-day series um, and I'm not bugging you too much with daily notifications. <laughs> uh, it's um. I'm glad I've done it. I haven't finished it yet, but um, the editing's been... I haven't put any metallics in this. I do like the metallics. Uh, actually, that's not true, because uh, the, there's a pink in there. I think I only put one layer in. It's got some metallic in it. Last time I used that, I didn't really see the metallic. All right. Now, I'm going to add a ring of white around here. So that when I release the cup, it, uh, it's reasonable size. So let's try that. So hopefully that will push out. Oh yeah, I can see it releasing. All right, I think we're good to go. Oh, I'm so nervous about this part. Which way? Some interesting red stripes here, but I like, I wonder if it makes a difference on which way you release it from. I think I'm gonna turn this around and release that side because I poured it all down this side it looks a bit mushy let's move it that way a bit and here we go
We definitely have cells. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I don't know whether to stretch it straight away or let it sit. Oh, these are pretty. We're already falling off the side there, so I think I'm going to go. Oh, and the side there. Okay, we're stretching. Don't want to lose those. Oh my goodness. I don't want to lose that stripe of purple either. Bugger. All the good stuff was on the outside. Okay, that didn't quite go as planned. Definitely got cells though, and they're still developing. So we'll get the heat torch on there, and I want to fix up these sides. ones pop up there. Oh, I wish I had more of that purple. So I think I might add a bit of purple to this. Might have a little bit of a play. I don't want to ruin anything though. Um, let me think. These cells are really nice. How do I... Maybe I'm going to stretch that down a bit. sure which purple I want to use. I've got a couple of different colours and one's got the cells in it. Let me come up through here. So I've got a bit of garage door lubricant in this and I've added some dark, you see that. Now I'm come up through here. Yeah, cool. A bit of blotch which is what I wanted a little bit of 
that garage door lubricant working. Do I need to do anything else? It's pretty busy. We've got something activating through there as well. I think that might have been enough, you know. This is gorgeous right here. That's the cells I'm looking for. So, is that, it's got white in it. I wonder if that was just from the Floetrol mix. Now, most of the yellow had Floetrol in it as well. Because it was the red and the purple that had the garage door lubricant in it. I'm wondering about tipping off that side. Or at least making it a bit narrower. That didn't really do much. Maybe it was a mistake. I like this dark line going through here. Hmm. I think I'm out of orange. Might have enough for a squiggle. Still tempted to stretch that bit off. Okay, if I miss too much with it, it's um, I'm gonna lose the shape of those cells. So now I feel like something needs to go through here. I'm going for an orange. Okay, this ended up quite unusual, that swipe that I put in, well not swipe, but line that I put in has spread out quite a lot and that's probably from the garage door, the lubricant. So I might go through that with the deep violet as well. So I like how it's a bit thick there, so I kind of want to do that. Give a real contrast. I do enjoy having a bit of a play. But knowing when to stop is the hard part. Uh, I feel like probably there. Not that. Just to give it a bit of something. Okay, that 
Feels right. Right, I'm gonna let that dry. But happy I got these cells through here. I'm digging these cells. They turned out well, I think. I think it's the pop of the light colour coming through. Same with here. So I think that's possibly the Australian Flow Troll doing that. Um, I'd say maybe these cells down here is more of the, um, the garage door lubricant and perhaps this going through here um, could be that as well I quite like the swirly colour paint going through here with the nice deep red as well and this top corner is pretty cool too I wish I had a bigger section of that purple but um yeah, you can't, can't win them all. Maybe you can, and I just haven't worked out how to do that yet. But uh, yeah, so there's, there it is wet. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. Okay. Uh, before I go through the dry look for this piece, before it was dry, I stuck my finger in it. I thought I saw a bug, and it looked dry, and I went to touch it, and uh, that was about the only spot on the canvas that was wet. So, oh, today I'm gonna go through and uh, I'm gonna try and fix it by adding paint. Now, I might change my mind after I've had a little practice. I've got a piece of paper here um, that won't soak into. I've only got three colors that I can use because I finished up the rest so um, I'd like it to look something like this, I guess, which has got these two colors in it. But I am worried it's gonna look too sharp. So I did wonder about mixing a little bit of yellow in. Now this has got the garage door stuff in it. So what I'm gonna do, actually I should have got myself some water for my paint brushes. Just gonna put a little top of this one here. Get some tube. I'm going to um, basically lay down some of the light purple. It's my thinking. And the hole, because it, it, it does have a little bit of an indent. And then um, drop some pur dark purple in it. I think I'm going to go down that track. So we'll go yellow, dark purple, and some light purple. Now, the hard part is going to be working out how much paint I need because there's a bit of a, I don't know if you can see, but there's a bit of a crater. I'm going to try just painting on the yellow first with a small brush. Oh, 
probably don't want that much of it. Mm. Purple's probably going to end up filling it out. Let's just get a bit. I should put a piece of paper towel on there because don't, if I lean on it, I don't want to upset it. And it's been drying a couple of days now. So I guess it was a good thing that I'm four days behind uploading. Because it would give me a chance to fix this. Just making that slightly different. That actually looks all right. That might work. What do you think? It's not perfect, but I think It'll dry all right. I think that's less noticeable, or have I made it more noticeable? But right, I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, here it's dry. And um, yeah, this is, uh, I think this is more of a 70s vibe. <laughs> With all the reds and everything. Um, I did get some really nice cells up here. I've got a bit of color in it. Um, I don't think we've got much of a shine. Uh, there's a little bit here. I think this is the iridescent white. It's giving us a bit of a shimmer and down through there. Um, yeah, but this is a lovely, lovely piece, this tree here. Um, so I don't know if that was created from the flow troll or the garage door lubricant. So I'm going to have to um, probably test them separately at some point. I've got some nice cells through here. And uh, the oranges come out darker, dried. So, um, but that's fine. And here is my effort at fixing my finger mark. So it's not too bad. Um, if you look on an angle though, you can see there's an indentation, but um, yeah, it was worth a try. So yeah, we've got some, some Jupiter clouds going through here or something, Jupiter storm. Oh, I like this piece, um, very different, lots of red. Yeah, so that's it for that one. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.